Hello and welcome back to Clownfish TV. It is me, Kiki Sparkles, and you're just getting me today because Neon isn't here. Um, today we're going to talk about the Gina Carano lawsuit against Disney. So now Disney wants it dismissed because they're saying that she trivialized the Holocaust, which is not what happened at all. So before we get into it any further, please like and subscribe. If you do, you'll get a woohoo. Woohoo! And we're going to talk about this. So you've, if you remember, uh, I don't know, like a month or so ago, February, Gina Carano, with the help of Elon Musk, was going to sue Disney over the fact she was wrongfully terminated from the Star Wars shows, mostly because they were saying that she was abhorrent uh, by what she said about the Holocaust. Okay. So they fired her over that. They were trying to fire her before that, make the mistake. She was in trouble the moment that Twitter decided that she was the representation, whether she wanted to be or not. And when she politely refused to put pronouns in her bio, uh, they dogpiled and harassed her for months, to which Disney said nothing. When they helped defend other people, they said nothing. And then um, she put that boop bop beep or whatever she put in it. And then they lost their crap more. And people were campaigning to get her fired. I have completely believe, I don't have proof of this, but I believe it 100% people at Lucasfilm were a big part, a big reason behind it. And then they got, they fired her after she put this, the post up about the Holocaust. So what did she say? What was it that she said that was so terrible? Okay. Here's what she said that was so absolutely terrible that it required, you know, them to fire her. Jews are beaten in the streets, not by Nazi soldiers, but by their neighbors, even by children, because history is edited. Most people today don't realize that to get to a point where Nazi soldiers could easily run up thousands of Jews, the government first made their own neighbors hate them simply for being Jews. How is it any different from hating someone for their political views? Okay, what they're pissed about is this part. How is it any different from hating somebody for their political views? She never says what political views she's referring to. Never says Republican, Democrat, whatever. Never says any of that. Libertarian, who knows? Doesn't say. But she's not wrong because people are being so polarized. It's a little better than it was at the time of this, this post. But people are being so polarized against each other over politics. It is ridiculous. Literally, people will not speak to you if they think you vote a certain way. I've never seen like it. And as far as like hitting people for political views, yes, it happens. I have seen people, quote unquote, remember the big punch a Nazi movement? And what, what would determine whether you were a Nazi or not was who you voted for or what cartoons you liked or what games you played or if you agreed with whatever they thought about games or cartoons. And if you didn't agree that it was completely fine to punch you because you were a Nazi, um, how was that wrong, what she said? It's not wrong. It's completely correct. But beyond that, we're going to look at, at this other article. We're going to we're going to go up through here. Um, over here at National Geographic, a couple months ago, they have an article called "How the Holocaust Happened in Plain Sight." So now Disney's saying that they've had enough because she's trivializing things. So they said that on February 10th, the basically her social media was a problem. On that day, she reposted an Instagram post from some count. And the post read what I just read to you. Okay, and then Disney said they had had enough. The same day Carano grotesquely trivialized the Holocaust as comparable to sharp political disagreements. That's not what she did. Lucasfilm announced that Gina Carano is not currently employed by Lucasfilm, and there are no plans for her to be in the future. Nevertheless, her social media posts denigrating people based on their culture and religious identities are abhorrent and unacceptable. Meanwhile, a bunch of Jewish people said they were not offended in any way, shape, or form. A month later, Disney's former CEO explained that Carano's view didn't align with the company values, including the values of respect, values of decency, integrity, and values of inclusion. So now they're trying to get it dismissed because they're like, it was just, it was what they say, they called it um, grotesquely trivialized the Holocaust. That That's what she did, and they're claiming that, and that that's why it should be dismissed because they're arguing they had the First Amendment right to fire her because of what she said. I love how the First Amendment, they can, they can, you know, say it's the First Amendment, but no one else can. Why are they basing this on? Disney had enough. Their motion dismisses. Disney argued there's a broad exception for companies whose businesses to engage in speech, such as newspaper entertainment. The supporters argument. It brought up some law review article. Boy, they're just pulling crap out of their rear. 
And they're just ba- they're, they have to, they're entitled to protect its, its creative speech from association with those considered offensive. Okay, the Disney, it's, they have to, they have to stop this because if anything is being said like that, that's completely wrong and abhorrent and terrible and, and, and it's, it's connected to Disney in any way, they got to stop it because First Amendment, and they look bad, right? And they don't want to look like they're supporting Nazis and all that. Okay, let me take you over here. So a couple months ago, there was an article in National Geographic about how the Holocaust happened in plain sight and about how 6 million Jews were murdered. And what happened? And they talk about how they killed millions of people who they thought were inferior, including Jehovah's Witnesses, gay men, people with disabil- disabilities, Slavic, Roma people, communists, et cetera, et cetera. Jewish people, they killed a lot of people. All right. So they're talking about it. But you get down here and you get, you get further down the article and they're talking about what happened and how it happened in plain sight. They talk about what the government did. They talk about um, how they were shooting people. They told people they were, they were evacuating them. Okay. You get down to here. With the help of local officials and sympathetic civilians, the Nazis rounded up Jews, stripped them of their personal possessions, and imprisoned them in more than 44,000 concentration camps and other incarceration sites across Europe. Non-Jews were encouraged to betray their Jewish neighbors and move into the homes and businesses they left behind. They were encouraged to, to you know, beat them up, to, to turn them in, to take their stuff. They were encouraged. That's basically what she said, right? Pretty much what she said. But Disney, the First Amendment rights, what a problem. National Geographic is owned by Disney. They, are, they own 73% of the shares of National Geographic. We know we talked before about how they were doing different things with National Geographic because Disney pretty much owns it. And Disney wants to talk about First Amendment rights and how saying things about the Holocaust and then tying it to political things was a violation and how they have the right to, to get rid of it because it makes them look bad. But they put this article up basically saying the same thing, basically saying the same thing in National Geographic. It is then put the political thing, because that's what it's about. It's not about the Holocaust. It's about how you lean politically. And for all Disney, we're not going to do, we're, we're, not, we're not doing the woke stuff. Don't worry, we're not. You've literally fired the person because of it. She took all kinds of crap. She took all kinds of crap about, you know, posts and stuff about things that she had said and uh, all this bad stuff. I don't have the post right in front of me, but called names and called terrible things because she wouldn't put pronouns in her bio. And then you have people like, you know, Pedro Pascal out there saying that basically Republicans are similar to Trump supporters are similar to Confederates or Nazis. He put that up and, and you know, that's abhorrent because you're bringing up Nazi Germany and making it political. But he didn't get fired. But he put it up and he never got fired. And then something else that was interesting. She got fired um, from the Mandalorian because she, they said about the, that, but they had the pronouns in the bio issue. Meanwhile, Christina Ariel was basically out there making comments about race and, and racism and was like bashing on white people, like constantly for quite a while. She didn't get fired. In fact, they backed her up and said about they weren't going to put up with racism against her as she was being racist against other people. But we have other people like Pedro Pascal doing the same damn thing and making it political and tying the Holocaust to politics. And Disney didn't fire his ass. So you, what is this pick and choose selective First Amendment rights? He doesn't get fired. People at National Geographic don't get fired for saying the same thing. But now you want it dismissed because, well, you know, she was being terrible and First Amendment rights. I think if I were looking at this, I'd be like, but what about all these other instances where you didn't fire people for the same damn thing? I'm just tired of it. Make no mistake. Just, it is what it is. It's over politics. The whole damn thing is because she was leaning right and they were mad about it. But no, no, guys, they're going to they're going to course correct Disney. They're going to course correct. First thing they're going to do is drop, want the lawsuit drop their First Amendment rights that they conveniently pick and choose when they uh, you know employ them. Anyway. Disney's sick of it. Well, get in line, Disney. A lot of people are sick of your shit. There it is. Please like and subscribe, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.